got squirrel. It's my squirrel mustache. See? I think we should take this thing to the woods, see? Go eat him. So me and this squirrel just had a run-in. And it ended badly for one of us. <laughs> so the only proper way to honor this squirrel is to clean him and eat him. And the best place to do that is the woods. Oh, the call of the wild. Should we eat this squirrel? Should we eat him? She loves it. Squirrel for lunch. Let's go. So I just gutted this animal, um, and I left the skin on just so I could keep the skin, the meat clean. So now I'll skin it. If you do it correctly, you know, if you do it right, you won't get it all bloody and messy. And I cut all the way um, up through the rib cage and then around the anus and where the penis is. So none of that got opened up. The, the, the contents of the gut didn't get opened up. So now I just have this nice little, this is actually a red squirrel, and they're very, very common in Alaska. They're very small. There's not much meat on one, but now I'm going to skin it and we'll get a fire going. But pretty easy to do. And squirrels are just like rabbits. Get back. Once you get the skin going, I mean, it pulls off really, really easy. Just with your hands, you don't even need a knife. Of course, this guy was hit by my truck tire, so didn't do any favors. But you can pull that skin right off with your with your hands. And you can save the skin if you want to. When you're left over, you have this oh there's a piece of meat. You have this nice little little pelt, little red squirrel pelt. And uh, you could do something with if you needed to. But I've got my meat now, and I'm going to rinse this off with my water bottle and get a fire going. The other cool thing about being out here in all this moss, you can take handfuls of moss and uh, really clean your hands up. I mean, I can squeeze water out of this. This sphagnum is just awesome, so it's a really good cleanup when you don't have a lot of water at hand. Yes. Oh, finally. Good. Won't take long, this thing is small. All right, here we go. I let this thing cool a little. I think she's ready. I like the charred flavor. I really do. It's actually a lot of meat on this thing and it's really juicy. It's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Just like, just like a chewy piece of chicken. It's good. Oh man, one thing. One thing that would make this thing better. It's something you should never, ever leave home without. I've got my emergency stash of it right here. What is it? Never leave home without this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to make this squirrel roasted over a fire. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Ten times better. Are you ready for this? An emergency slab of butter. 
see this. Oh, it's beautiful, but do a little bit of that. Uh-huh. Butter and squirrel together. It's so good. <clears throat> Just a little dab. I need <coughs> hair. It's like corn on the cob. <clears throat> Squirrel on the cob and you rub the butter over top. <laughs> that was rib. Guys, try it. Red squirrel. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Until next time.